Well, I had to do a little bit of messing around with the oil injection on this old Kawasaki, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a video on uh, some of that. So, you've got your throttle cable here. It comes down and it comes into a connector. And then it has two cables that come down. You have one that goes to the little barrel in your carburetor there. And then that other cable comes down through here and comes out to your oil injection pump. Now as you see when I pull the throttle that's moving and that's moving. So your oil comes from your reservoir down through this line into the pump and then the more throttle you're giving the bike the more oil it's pumping and it pumps it in here and then it comes out this side with the more throttle you give it and it comes into this little uh, bolt right here and I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of a breakdown where that leads to oops well I'm getting on a roll with that I'm just making videos and kicking something over in all of them I guess I better start cleaning the place up so I've got another engine here well, let me show you something real quick on the pump here you see it has a line right here on this little part here that moves and you have a line on the inside here and that's how you adjust and uh, for richer or leaner more or less oil so you want to work your throttle a little bit see I'm running a little rich there and you can adjust this adjuster here loosen that 10 millimeter nut back this out or move it in to get that lined up good now I'll show you where this line over here leads and goes over there so this is on a Kawasaki KE100 an older one but a lot of the older oil injection stuff is going to be real similar to this uh, I've seen, seen this setup on a lot of things so I got another oil injection pump here. This here is the line where the oil comes in. This is the one where it comes out. And if you look at the back of this, see it's got a little piece like this, and this spins. And what that rides on is right in here. This is where your carburetor is going to go on, as you can see there. And to get that off, it has a hole on the inside. It'll have a little rubber grommet, and you'll pull that off, put your flathead in there to get to the clamp where your carburetor goes on here. Now I'll show you how the oil injection goes there. This is where the same hole that from the oil injection pump is going right here. So I'll show you the other side of that, where your oil pump goes on and on the carburetor. So I'll just pull this off. And what you see here is a little gear. This end here is what goes on your oil injection pump right there. And this gear fits right in there. So as your engine's spinning, I got this thing all torn apart so it ain't gonna spin but as your engine's spinning it's turning your your pump and that's what's giving it the pressure to feed the oil up over to here here's that side cover I got this hole right here that leads to right here you can see there's a little brass fitting in there and there's a hole in that brass fitting and that shoots the oil through a little tube inside here that I'll show you. So this comes right off with uh, two hands, probably better than one. Come on, you. <laughs> All right, give me a minute. All right, brief intermission. So this comes off right like this. It has a uh, a little mark right here, a little mark right here. 
that fit in them holes. So you make sure you're lined up. Now this should have a gasket along here and a little plate with a sprocket. And this is called a rotary valve. And the way this works is that spins so it's allowing air in, or gas and uh, air into the cylinder at a certain time and it's called a rotary valve. But I'll show you how this oil injection squirts. You got this little brass fitting hole in there and then you got a little brass tube right there and that squirts it right into here where your fuel and air is mixing so you're getting your air fuel and oil mixture all mixed precisely going into the cylinder so as long as these oil injection pumps are working then you know that's good because you're getting a lot more precise at different various speeds than if you mix your gas and oil um, separately and put it in the fuel tank a lot of people have different opinions about them I mean hey if it's got it and it's working I use them you know sometimes people will take them off and it actually will have a another tube that feeds like your crank bearings and then you can your crank bearings uh, will go out and you need to replace them after you pull these off sometimes so usually if they have them it's good to take them apart, take them apart clean them keep them working and uh, yeah there's your oil injection pump now uh, on my last video I had a uh, I started up the old Kawasaki and from where it had it apart I had a little bit of air getting to the line right here so what I did is I I'm sure there's different ways to do this there's more than one way to skin a cat you can pull this off use like a little squirter or something try to fill this up as much as you can with oil or something like that and then connect it I just mixed a little bit of a oil into my fuel put it in the tank and watched it and uh, as I had it running since these are different cables one for the carburetor and your fuel and one for the oil I let it run and I just held this forward like this so that would be wide open throttle and uh, it'd pump a lot more oil than if it was just sitting there idling that way it sucked through here a lot quicker and got the air out of the line a lot sooner that way I was mixing the oil in there a lot more precise so there's a little idea for you after you take this apart and clean it to get the air out of there sooner so there's a little bit on the oil injection pump old Kawasaki's coming along got some side covers for this engine over here that I'm putting together so having fun and tearing stuff apart so thanks for watching guys and uh please subscribe if you haven't already bye